Okay, hello everyone. We're here on our lesson number 11, the multiple linear regression for data eng or engineering data analysis. The topic that we will cover are the following multiple linear regression, hypothesis testing in multiple linear regression, uh, prediction of new observation, and the adequacy of the regression model. So this is a uh, Chapter 12 of our textbook, The Applied Statistics and Probability for Engineers, 6th edition by Montgomery and Ranger. Okay, so basically, uh, we already learned the uh, uh, linear regression for uh, one uh, variable or one independent variable and to a specific response variable. So in engineering, however, there's uh, a lot of factors that we might consider affect the results of our response variable. Thus, thus this requires a more, uh, more than one regressor variable. So meaning, the independent variable natin will be uh, more than one. And uh, regression models that contain more than one regressor is what we call the multiple regression model. So, meaning yung, yung y natin will be a function of x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, dot dot dot, x sub n. Pwede ganyan yung regression mo. Okay, now, for uh, this case, we are going to only discuss yung 2 uh, variable. But it could be 3 or more. So, we can still use uh, multiple regression model for three or more variables. So for this one, let's have our uh, previous example, the effective life of a cutting tool, which depends on the cutting speed and the tool angle. So a possible multiple regression model is this one, our uh, independent uh, variable or a regressor, and this is a response for the dependent variable. And as you can see, uh, the two variable has its specific coefficient. This is a linear regression. You have an intercept and an error in the model. So basically, ganyan naman lagi. So as the same as uh, nung sa uh, simple reg uh, linear regression model. Okay, now, uh, for uh, linear regression model, we also use the least square estimation of the parameter. So the method of least square may be used to estimate this regression coefficient in the multiple regression uh, model. Suppose that n is greater than k observation are available. So meaning yung number of variables mo, ang number of samples mo dapat ay always greater than your number of variable for the observation. And let x i j denote that i observation on level of variable x j. The observations are this one. So for this is for the specific uh, variable. Okay, so it is customary to represent data on multiple regression as tabulation. So table siya. So as you can see here, nandito yung response, nandito yung mga response pa, ah, yung independent variable mo, or yung what we call the regress. Okay, now, so yung least square model, ito lang yung uh, gagamitin din yung formula. But, we already have statistical tools that we can utilize in order to determine this following expression. So, ito yung uh, mga normal equation. And, the solution to the normal equation are the least square estimator of the regression Coefficient. So basically, meron kang least square function, you get the partial derivative, and you get the normal uh, equation. Okay, now, for for this type of regression, uh, gagamitin natin yung Excel. But I will teach also the uh, matrix uh, procedure or yung matrix algebra process. Kasi pag multiple linear, you can use matrix algebra. Okay, now. Wire band strength in chapter 1, we use data on full strength of a wire band in a semiconductor manufacturing process by length and die height to illustrate building an empirical model. We'll use the same data 
repeated to contain uh, Nyan's in table 12-2 and show the detail of estimating the model parameters. So a three-dimensional scatter plot of the data is presented. Ito yung pinakita ko nung unang-una, yung sa uh, empirical model. 1-15, figure 12-4, show a matrix two-dimensional scatter plot of the data. So ito yung data natin kung natatandaan ninyo sa table 12-2. Ito yung nasa first example natin na may dalawa kang uh, independent variable and you want to get the pools with 25 data set. Okay? This is the uh, tasong figure naman. Ito siya. So, uh, as you read this one, this one is uh, strength versus length. Ito yun. Okay? Ito naman ay uh, strength based versus strength. Yan. Pareho lang yan. Strength versus strength. Kaya linear siya. While uh, this one, this is strength and height. Height naman siya. Strength and height. So, dito wala. So, ito ay uh, length at saka height. Ito, length at saka height. Ito ay length at saka height. Ito yung strength at saka height din na uh, model. So, halos uh, pare-pareho naman. So, this one could be generated by Minitab. Pero sa Excel, hindi, hindi, hindi natin ito mag- nag-generate yung gantong uh, model. But anyway, uh, kaya pa rin naman magbigay ng regression model ng Excel for multiple uh, regression model. Okay? So, specifically, specifically, we want to fit this to this linear regression model where we have the coefficient where uh, pag sinabi mo yung coefficient, uh, intercept, we call this one is intercept, which is the value of x1 and x2 are 0. And we have the coefficient, yung b1 and b2. And this one is the error. So, from the data, uh, pwede natin kunin lahat to, yung mga yan. But, uh, kukuha nyo yung solution na to. Now, uh, ito ay applying yung information from here at yung mga kailangan dyan. So, uh, kaya tong ipasok sa sa uh, programmable calculator. Pero sa, I'm not sure with Casio, pero alam ko uh, walang multiple regression ang calculator. Uh, wala. Wala siyang multiple regression. Okay? Na yung Casio. But I'm not sure with, with uh, Sharp and others. But we can utilize Excel to determine this value. So basically, ito lang yan. We utilize na expression. So, kinuha yung end, kinuha yung sum nito, kinuha yung sum nyan, kinuha yung sum ng y, etc. etc. But, uh, you don't need to do this one sa, ano, sa, sa, pag may Excel na tayo. So, we'll utilize Excel for this case. So, basically, same lang din to nung uh, ginawa natin dun sa lesson 10, which we utilize regression for the data Analysis. Kaya lang, ang kaibahan niya uh, sa Excel ay yung sa uh, lesson 11, single value lang yung x. Ito, dalawa na yung value ng x natin. So, paano siya uh, gagawin? Okay. So, mag So, mamaya, ipapakita ko sa inyo, overview muna. So, the same pa din, you, you type all your data in Excel. So, take note that tabulated siya at pababa ng pag-type. So, ang importante dito ay yung Y saka yung mga X values natin. And, correct dapat yung pag-type. So, dapat always double check your data. So, ang una natin gagawin, you click yung data analysis, lalabas yung data analysis tab, you click regression. Pag labas ng regression, we will have this uh, regression tab. So, sa regression tab, ang kailangan yung hanapin ay yung input ng range ng y. So, ito yon Kunin nyo siya. Mamaya ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ginagawa sa extent. And yung x natin, you will get both yung dalawa. So, marirecognize ng Excel na dalawa yung variable mo. Okay? Uh, pwede kang may label kung gusto mo, pero ako hindi ko na ginamit. But the label is just the full strength, wire length, and the die height. Pwede mong gamitin yun. Okay, then the confidence level. So, you can change the confidence level. But usually, it's set at 
uh, 95% or 5% alpha. Okay? Then the output range. Yung output range, pwede yung new worksheet or pwede yung dito din sa ano. So, ako ang pinindot ko ay H5 lang. So, pwede isang cell lang, pero i, i, lalabas niya lahat ng range mo. And I advise you just click everything here. Okay? Then, ganito yung output. Mamaya ipapakita ko sa inyo. Ito yung lalabas. We have this uh, summary output, the regression statistics, the ANOVA uh, table. And this one is for the coefficient table. And we have the residual and the probability output. Tapos dahil nakaklik to yung mga plots, lalabas din yung uh, plots natin with x variable with uh, strength, yung y. And uh, x variable 1, which is yung y1 natin, uh, wire length and strength. Then we have the residual plot and the normal probability plot. And from there, we can get yung uh, statistics uh, data or linear regression natin. So, balik ko lang dun sa uh, information na ito. Okay, punta tayo sa Excel. Okay, so nandito tayo sa Excel. I already uploaded this uh, table sa inyo dito. So, you can utilize yung regression analysis at matrix algebra for uh, practice. So, we'll do the regression sa Excel. So, for the first one, baba ko lang to. So, ang kailangan natin, we go to data. Data. Aha. Click nyo yung data. So, dapat may data analysis. So, as I mentioned, dun sa lesson 10, dapat uh, inalam nyo na kung paano lalabas yung data analysis. Pero, makikita nyo lang siya dun sa uh, options. Okay? Dun sa options. You go sa file. Sorry, sa home. Sa home. Sa add-ons. Dito lang yun sa add-ons. Okay? Add Okay, so balik na tayo. Go to data. Data analysis. So, sabi ko, you click the uh, regression. Lalabas yung data analysis. Ito yun. Then, we get, go to the regression. Susundan. Okay, so, pagdating sa regression, okay lang. Tapos, lalabas yung uh, top. Lalabas yung regression top. Okay? So, basically, uh, wala pa yung laman. Okay, tanggalin ko lang muna. So, pag uh, wala ka pang ginawa, basically, wala kang, walang laman yan. Okay? Uh, okay ganyan yung, yung itsura niya. But, I usually use the output range. So, punta tayo sa input. Input range, so this one is Y. Input Y range. So, the first one, you need to input yung Y. So, kunin nyo lang lahat ng data ng Y. So, that will be C5 to C29. Okay, so, enter lang. Then, input X range. So, yung X range, dun sa uh, first, uh, sa lesson 10, you only input yung one column for X. For, for this one, two columns na. So, you get the two columns ng ng X mo. So, you get all. Okay? May recognize naman ng Excel na dalawa yung variable mo. Then, I just click for the output. So output range or confidence interval. Kung gusto mong baguhin, you can click this one and change this. But, uh, set na lang natin at 90. Okay? At uh, output range naman, pili ka lang kung saan mo gusto uh, lumabas yung output. So, ako ang uh, nilagay ko ay H uh, 5 kanina, or you can use I, or you can drag it, pero okay lang, kahit isang cell lang yung lagay mo. Then, usually I ask na i-click nyo lang to lahat para lumabas lahat ng information na kaya i-compute ng Excel for you. Then, okay. And, that's it. Lalabas na siya. Then, ayusin nyo lang yung table. So, this one, ah, uh, Residual plot, usually dito, variable residual plot, ano pa, uh, variable 2 dito, and variable 3 dyan. And the normal probability plot. Okay, so later, 
uh, pag-aaralan natin kung ano yung mga content nito. But basically, mababasa nyo dyan kung ano yung mga information. So, you have the uh, multiple regression, multiple R, R square, adjusted R square, standard error. Ito yung mga data. And observation 22. We have the ANOVA table, we have the degrees of freedom here, the sum of squares, the mean of squares. This one is the F table and this is the uh, significant F value. Okay. Uh, later, pag-aaralan natin. So, dito na ba makikita nyo yung intercept? So, basically, ito yung data, yung coefficient. So, this is beta 0, this is uh, beta 0, this is beta 1, this is beta so, meaning this is the coefficient for the variable. So, and yung information dito. So, I think beta 0, beta 1, and beta 2. So, ayan yung data na nakikita nyo sa uh, y na. So, ito lang yan. Yung... coefficient na uh, information dito. Okay, yan lang yung coefficient. Okay, so we'll end our uh, lesson for now.